I've made a rezoning application that is doing a dummy rezoning. It's checking on the quite big GeoJSON layer. So it's reading that layer in. The layer comes in as an object keyed by feature ID. So the key is the ID and then the value is the object. So you read out object.values to get an array of objects, each object representing one of these parcels. You then use this dispatch component to forward project the object, which is this parcel geometry, find its centroid, which is the point right in the middle of it, and check if that centroid is inside of this polygon. And if it's true, you take that object and add it to this list called M, which is matching. And then you take these matching and you run this full function. So if the shape area is larger than a thousand, you set it to high density, density residential. Otherwise you set it to landscape simple. And then you write it out again. It's easy as that. So that's the function now. And there we go. Now that I've actually matched landscape simple, we actually get some landscape simple. Okay, so it's quite slow, especially when this is open. And so if I close this, it's actually quite quick. But when that's open, there's just some message that's taking over and losing control. Okay, so now I just want to update this so that there's one more parameter inside of it. Um, let's do it. Okay, because I just want to show you this construct object and in functionality. So the construct object just allows you to build an object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable this and hopefully this is going to, there we go. Okay, uh, the construct object is going to, we're going to create uh, an input called features and another input called cutoff size. Okay, and input two is gonna be features. Doesn't matter what order they come in, you just have to have unique names. And features is gonna be this list of features. Now, object has a little uh, bug where it doesn't love connecting, there we go. And cutoff size is gonna be a parameter that the user puts in. And so that's called this in, in, okay. And this is gonna be cut off size. And it's gonna be a number. And the default value is gonna be 1000. You can see as soon as I've created that, there it is up there. And that's gonna be cut off size. And now we have an object with two keys, cut off size and features and, and two values, this array M and this number 1000. So now I'm gonna pass that in here. Now this is gonna break this because currently we're saying const features array equals args. Args is whatever comes in. So it used to be that args was this array M and this function update usage based on area operates on an arg because you can see it goes on an array rather. So when the arg is an array, this is a happy function. Features dot map. So dot map only works on arrays. So what we need to do is say const features array is not args, it is rather args.features. And that the value of the features key is that array M. And we want to also say that this 1000 is args.cut off size. And we might want to make sure that that's passed through and that actually should now work. So what I'll do is activate him and then I will click the play button, the play button. Okay, now I'll close this. And if I push the play button, if I push the size, now everything bigger than 200, 2000. There we go, so it's actually working.